everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing extremely well so today we will be solving the problem kth smallest element in a binary search tree now let's assume that you are given this particular binary search tree where 5 is the root and to the left there is 3 and then to the left there is 1 and then there's 2 and then so on this is the particular binary search tree that is given to you and assume i say that hey k i will give you as 3 so if you write down all the elements of the binary search tree it will be something like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 like if i write down all the elements in a proper sorted order the elements will be something like this now i am asking you to figure out kth smallest element now the third smallest element will be definitely this and this is what you need to return if you are given the root of the binary search tree so how do you solve such a problem now one of the naive ways that you can do is you can do any of the dfs traversals be it in order post order pre order and then you can uh, just go to all the nodes and you can store all the nodes into some container if you're using c plus plus it can be a vector if you're using java it can be a list or whatever you wish to store you can store all of them over there once you have stored them you can sort that vector uh, sort that container and and once you have sorted that entire container of that container you can take the third smallest element or the third element from the front you can do that but the problem in this uh, particular approach is the time complexity will be big o of n for the traversal that you will do and another big o of n log n if you decide to sort that entire container and you will be using an extra space of big o of n in order to store the entire binary search tree into a container so there is a problem with the time as well as space i don't want this extra log n right i want uh, this to be done in big o of n and i don't want the usage of big o of n so that is where the efficient approach comes in now, what is an efficient approach generally it has been seen that or it's a property of binary search tree that if you write down the in order of the binary search tree yes if you write down the in order let's write it over here so if we write down the in order what's in order if you remember it's left node and then right basically left root right so if i if i ask for this particular tree left 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 so this is the first left which is null node will be one so i can write one then right will be two then again node will be three so if i write down the entire in order of this particular binary search tree i will get one two three four five six seven eight this is what the in order will look like now there is a very interesting property the in order of any given binary search tree is always in sorted order because binary search tree follows a particular property that everything to the left of a particular node is smaller and everything to the right of a particular node is greater so that's why i can say that the in order since it is left node right the in order will always be sorted so i can see that the in order is as of now sorted so if it is sorted i think uh, i can easily find out the third smallest element and that's very simple so we will be eliminating yes we will be eliminating the extra n log n that was required to sort so instead of doing any particular dfs traversal we will be doing an an in order traversal of the binary search tree and hence we'll be eliminating the extra log n factor of sorting but still, still, we are using an extra space complexity of v go of n. But still, we are using an extra space complexity of v go of n in order to store this entire BST. So, how can you, how can you uh, make sure that we don't use an extra space? So, what we will do is, what if I say that, hey, listen, you are doing an in order traversal, right? So, why can't, uh, why can't you keep a counter zero? So, whenever you visit the node. Because in order traversal is left, then the node or the root and then the right. So you are going left, left, left. So whenever you visit a particular node, that means that is when the traversal is happening. That is when you are visiting a particular node. So whenever you are visiting a node, why can't you do a counter plus plus? Because that is when you are visiting a node. So if you can 
in the traversal yes in the traversal if you can do a counter plus plus and at the moment the counter becomes equal to equal to k can i say my answer will be the node that you are currently standing at i think in the traversal be it the recursive traversal be it the stack traversal be it the morris traversal in any of the traversals if you can insert this logic where you say hey listen i'm going to do a counter plus plus the moment i am at the node and if the counter is equivalent to the k i can easily say that that is my kth smallest element i think that should definitely work so what kind of traversals you can do let's uh, talk about that so if you do the recursive traversal that will uh, take me a time complexity of v go of n and an extra stack space of v go of n again if i do the iterative uh, stack traversal using stack it's going to be same but the moment i do the morris traversal yes we will be requiring a time complexity of v go of n and a space complexity of v go of 1 and have discussed all these traversals in this particular tree series so you can check out the playlist and you'll get all these traversals the only stuff that you have to do in all of those traversals is insert this particular line of code and uh, i have i have attached a code link in the description you can see that i have taken the iterative traversal and i have attached this piece of code so that you get the kth smallest element now what if i change this question and i just say that hey I make this kth largest element, and I ask you, how will you solve this particular problem now? I've just changed the question to saying kth largest element in BST. Now, in this case, uh, it's the same question that you're solving. What you need to do is, okay, uh, I know that I need to figure out kth largest. So, if by doing one traversal, yes, you can do a one simple traversal and count the number of nodes. So the number of nodes will be n, right? If I count the number of nodes, how many total nodes are there? Then I can say that kth largest is equivalent to saying n minus kth smallest. Don't you think that? Ideally, that is that is correct, right? So I think that that makes sense because if kth largest, I am saying that's equivalent to saying okay from the front, what will be it? N minus kth smallest. So it will require two traversals, one traversal to compute the number of nodes if that's not given to you, and then in order to find kth largest, you just need to find n minus kth smallest. So that's the uh, that's the shuttle change that you have to do, and you'll be able to easily figure out the n minus kth smallest element on on this uh, on a particular given BST. So I hope uh, I hope guys you have understood the entire explanation and if you want the code the link will be in the description so just in case you did understand please 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 make sure you like this video and if you are new to this channel do consider subscribing because that is uh, that is the only thing that keeps me motivated to make uh, such kind of content and with this uh, I'll be wrapping up this video let's meet in the next one bye bye take care